Hello, and welcome to another edition of Orient at Your Library. I am your host, Brittany Verner. Today we'll speak with Kathleen Kozlowski about upcoming events that are happening in the Teen Services Department. And we'll also speak with Kristen Riminar about the upcoming Local Author Affair. And finally, we'll end the show with our monthly conversation with Library Director Karen Knox. All this plus more coming up on Orient at Your Library. We caught up with Kathleen Kozlowski about events that are happening in the Teen Services Department. Take a look. Hi, I have Kathleen Kozlowski here. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, thanks for having me. Wonderful. Can you tell us about some upcoming events that are happening in Teen Services? Yes, we have a Create Your Own Fizzy Bath Bomb program in December, uh, on December 6th, starting at 2, and we have someone coming in from Autumn Moon Aesthetics, and she's going to um, bring in your own molds and all the supplies and different scents, and you can create like an own, your own fizzy bath bomb for teenagers. So I also heard you mention something about a workshop where you can build gingerbread houses. Can you elaborate on that? Yes, that's December 13th. That's our big holiday program that I have for teens, the last one in December. And that's December 13th at 2, and teens can come and make their own gingerbread houses. And how do they register for that event? Oh, they can also go to our web website and register online. Well, thank you so much, Kathleen, for being on the show again. Look forward to speaking with you. Thank you for having me again. The Orion Lighted Parade is a tradition that ushers in the holiday season here in the Orion area. Families line the streets in the village to enjoy this festive event. But it wouldn't be possible without the Holly Jolly Folly. This year's fundraiser is scheduled to take place on Friday, December 5th at Golling Buick GMC, located at 1491 South Lapeer Road. Enjoy live entertainment, a silent auction, a cash bar, and a 50-50 raffle. Food will be provided by Italia Garden. Tickets are $35 per person and are available at Golling Buick GMC. For more information, call the Orion Area Parade Group at 248-802-5521 or visit orionlightedparade.org. Next up is Judy Rudiso to explain the new self-checkout system. Using the self-check at the Orion Library is quite easy. Press the Start button to begin. There are three ways to log into your account. First, place your library card in the barcode reader facing up Enter your PIN number by using the touchscreen keyboard. Your PIN number is the last four digits of your phone number unless you have changed it. You can also use the on-screen keyboard to type in both your barcode number and your PIN. Using a loyalty app like Cardstar or Keyring, you can scan your library barcode number right from your cell phone. Once you are logged in, you will see your general account information. Here you can see at a quick glance the number of items you have checked out, if you have any items waiting for you on the hold shelf, if you have overdue items, and the amount of any fines owing. Pressing the account button will give you a detailed list of items you currently have checked out. Pressing the items being held button will give you a complete list of items waiting for you on our hold shelf. Press the renew items button to renew any items currently eligible for renewal. Checking out materials is easy once you have touched the check out items button. Place your items to be checked out into the large opening under the self-check screen. There is no need to open books or to scan them one at a time. Our new RFID system can read multiple items at once. Always double check that the screen shows each of your items. If it doesn't show on the screen, it isn't checked out. You will have to ask for assistance at the circulation desk. Touch the finish button when you are done. The next screen will give you the option to print or email a receipt or to return to the account screen where you can end your self-check session.
I need help. We can't survive without heat and water. Oakland County Community Resource Day, November 19th. I'm homeless. How do I get health insurance? I'm getting evicted. Stay safe this winter. For help with housing, state IDs, eviction, and other critical issues, come to the Oakland County Community Resource Day. There is help. Here's Kristen to talk about the upcoming local author affair. Hi, I'm here with Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Hi. Can you tell us about some events you have coming up at the library? Sure. I am so excited that we are hosting an author fair here at the library in December. So it's called The Giving Season, and it's a local author illustrator event. It'll be held on Saturday, December 6th from 1 to 4. So it's an open house, and people can come in and find exactly the perfect gift for any age, because the best gift you can give is a book signed by the author illustrator. We have Kelly DiPuccio, who's a children's book author, and she's written things like Crafty Chloe and Liberty's Journey and Zombie in Love. We have Matt Faulkner, Lake Orion's very own author illustrator. He's the illustrator of 39 picture books, and he has a graphic novel called Guy Jin. We have Ruth Barshaw with the Ellie McDoodle Diaries. We have Deb Paludi and 10 Rules for Being a Superhero. We have YA authors. We have adult authors. We have mystery authors. We have romance authors, inspirational authors. So anyone can come to our library and find just the right book for everyone on their gift list. So we're calling it The Giving Season, our local author illustrator fair on December 6th from 1 to 4. That sounds amazing. Now, do guests need to pre-register for this event? The event is an open house, um, so you can come in anytime between 1 and 4 on December 6th, and it's open to everyone. Hello, I'm Mike Bouchard, the Oakland County Sheriff. There's a big problem that faces all the communities in America today, and that's abuse of legitimate prescription drugs. Sometimes they're left in the home when a loved one passes away, or they're in the medicine cabinet for someone else, and a youngster in the home steals it and they abuse it. It's one of the fastest growing drug abuses that we see in our community and across the country. Secondly, we see these drugs oftentimes when they're no longer utilized being flushed down the drain and we're seeing higher levels of residual pharmaceuticals in our waterways and our streams. So to solve two problems with one effort, we partnered with Home Instead Senior Care to start a program called Operation Medicine Cabinet to get those drugs out of the homes, out of the hands of youngsters and out of the waterway and safely and environmentally destroy them. Learn more about the program at OperationMedicineCabinetMI.com and be part of the solution. Thank you. And lastly, we'll end with Library Director Karen Knott. Hi, Karen. Hi, how are you today? Great. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. Wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on at the library? Absolutely. So there's a couple of upcoming events that I just wanted to let you know about. Um, first, we have a, the Friends of the Library are having a silent auction of baskets that they do every year about this time. They do one in the summer and one around the holidays. And this year, um, the baskets will be on display starting on Saturday, um, which is November 22nd. Um, and uh, the, we have 25, I believe, beautiful baskets that are going to be on display in the library lobby this year. And um, they're going to be available for bid. Um, we have some themed baskets, um, some wonderful baking baskets on cupcakes and cookies. We have some baskets on um, gingerbread houses, um, some baskets with just collections of books for kids, um, all sorts of great gift ideas for um, your family or friends that you might be looking for gifts ideas for for the holidays. So come on out and check out the baskets. They are going to be on display until December 13th, so you have a good three weeks to come out and look at the baskets and put in your bids and hopefully you'll be able to take home something special from that auction. 
um, and also happening on December 13th. We're going to have Santa here at the library. I'm very excited um, to bring Santa here. He's going to be um, just hanging out, talking to kids, handing out bookmarks and candy canes, um, meeting with kids and hearing what they want for Christmas um, and all that sort of fun stuff that we do here. So um, that will be happening on December 13th and that will be a visit, um, excuse me, I have to check the calendar, um, between 10 and 1 o'clock on the 13th of December. So that's a Saturday from 10 to 1. So you can drop in at any time and see Santa that day. And then I just wanted to give everybody an update on the building project. As you may have discovered already, we have reopened our lobby. We reopened it on Tuesday, November 18th. We had it closed for three weeks and a day um, while we let our contractors work really hard in the lobby. They were busy. We had electricians in there. We had to cut some concrete. We had to lay some new conduit so we could put new um, electrical outlets in the floor. Um, we had painters here stripping wallpaper, cleaning off the adhesive, painting. Um, and then we had uh, some guys come in and lay some new flooring. They had to rip out the carpet, which was quite a project, and um, lay new flooring. And we have a beautiful new floor now in the lobby that I'm really excited about. So the lobby has been reopened, although <coughs> when you come in, you will discover that <coughs> the staff is still operating off of some temporary furniture. The new furniture is, is due to arrive sometime in December. So um, the uh, new desks will be here, we'll have some new shelving put in, we'll have some chairs and tables put in for the public to be able to use. And um, that will all happen sometime throughout the month of December. The first week in December, we're actually gonna have some new equipment installed. We're gonna have our new uh, gates installed for our RFID security system. And we're going to have our uh, additional self-checkout machines installed. So we have one. Many people have been using the one that we have made available. I'm getting a lot of good feedback on that. We've been tweaking it and um, making sure everything works just fine. We're going to be adding two more in addition to the lobby. So we'll have three total self-checkouts in the lobby in addition to the, st the staff desk. So I'm really excited about getting all of that in place. And uh, my ultimate goal was to get everything up and running by the end of 2014. And I think we're going to hit that mark. So I'm really excited about that. So if you haven't come in yet, Come in and check out all the new stuff over the next month and see what we have to offer at the library. Thank you so much for the update, Karen. We look forward to speaking with you next month. Thanks. I look forward to it as well. Thanks for having me. And that's it for today's edition of Orient at Your Library. If you have any questions about what you saw in today's program, please feel free to visit orionlibrary.org.